Hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel. So we are back again with the most important questions for Prelim 2020. Let's start with the first question for the day. First question, which of the following statements with reference to circadian rhythm are true? First statement, a circadian rhythm displays an endogenous and trainable oscillation of about 24 hours. Second statement, these 24 hour rhythms are driven by a circadian clock and they have been widely observed in plants, animals, bacteria and cyanobacteria. Third statement, light resets the biological clock by either delaying or advancing the circadian rhythm. Fourth, uremia is one of the main is one of the many health problems which is caused due to the disruptions in circadian rhythm. Select the correct codes A 1, 2, 3, 4, B 2 and 3 only, C 1 and 3 only, D 2, 3, 4 only. So you can pause the video for a second and mention your answers in the comment section below. So here the correct answer is A 1, 2, 3, 4. Also another problems that Another uh, health problem that is caused due to the disruption in circadian rhythm is kidney problems and other health related diseases like cardiovascular diseases etc. Moving on to the next question. The tiger range countries include which of the following countries? A. Bhutan, China, Malaysia, Russia. B. Bhutan, India, China, Australia. C. Pakistan, Kenya, India, Australia. D. Lao PDR, Vietnam, Zimbabwe, Australia. So, here the correct answer is A. Bhutan, China, Malaysia, Russia. Now, the Tiger Range countries are actually a group of 13 countries which involves Bangladesh, Bhutan, China, Russia. Please note, Russia is a part of the Tiger Range country. Moving on, Cambodia, India, Indonesia, Lao PDR, Malaysia, Myanmar, Nepal, Thailand and Vietnam. Moving on to the next question. GERD, which was recently seen in news, is related to A. GERD is a millennium dam constructed on the Blue Nile. B. GERD is a name given to a new vaccine developed by scientists to contain the spread of deadly bacteria, mycobacterium tuberculosis. C. GERD is an advanced combat aircraft developed by Iran. D. GERD is a name given to Israel's 2021 mission to the moon. So, the correct answer here is A. GERD is a millennium dam constructed on the Blue Nile. And the name is Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam and is actually a gravity dam on the Blue Nile and once when it is constructed it will be the largest hydroelectric power plant in all of Africa and also the seventh largest in the world. So moving on to the next question. Which of the following statement given below is or are true? A. India has proposed to create a COVID-19 emergency fund which is based on mandatory contribution for all ASEAN members. Second statement, WHO that is World Health Organization has also contributed the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund with the help of corporate bodies, foundation and the UN Foundation. So choose the correct statement. A. 1 is false. B. 2 is false. C. Both the statements are true. D. Both the statements are false. So, here the correct answer is B. 2 is true. The reason being, India has indeed proposed to create COVID-19 emergency fund, but it is actually based on voluntary contribution and it involves the SARC members, not the ASEAN members. So, please note that. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement. The first statement. Proportional taxation is levied as a percentage of tax base irrespective of size of tax base at a uniform rate. Second statement. Progressive taxation is levied when percentage of tax rate 
plus the absolute amount of tax increases with the decrease in the size of tax base. Third statement, regressive taxation is levied when percentage of tax rate decreases but the absolute amount of tax increases with the size of tax base. So here the correct answer is C, 1 and 3 only. Now the reason being progressive taxation is actually when the tax rate increases with the increase in the size of tax base. So here it says decreases. So please note it actually increases. So moving on to the next question. Bhashan Char Island, which was in news recently, is located in which of the following countries? A. India B. Bangladesh C. Sri Lanka D. Myanmar So here the correct answer is B. Bangladesh Also, Bangladesh government has planned to accommodate Rohingya refugees here. So moving on to the next question. What do you understand by the term language, Lang range point? First statement, a location in space where the combined gravitational forces of two large bodies equal the centrifugal force felt by a much smaller third body. Second statement, these are called Chandrasekhar limit and are maximum mass of stable white dwarf. Third statement, Langridge points are location where maximum amount of space debris is found. Fourth statement. These are active areas where black holes are found in large numbers. So here the correct answer is A. A location in space where the combined gravitational forces of two large bodies, for example Earth and the Sun, is equal the centrifugal force felt by a much smaller third body, which for example could be the Moon. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement with reference to polar vortex. First statement. The polar night jet stream traps the air above the poles during winter season and gradually turns extremely cold leading to the formation of a vortex. Second statement. The polar vortex is an area of low pressure and extremely cold air that weakens in summer and strengthens in winter. Third statement, they rotate clockwise at the North Pole and counterclockwise at the South Pole. Fourth statement, the polar vortex leads to the formation of polar stratospheric clouds which releases ozone depleting molecules. Fifth statement, over the Antarctic, the thickness of ozone remains unaffected. So here the correct answer is B, 1, 2 and 4 only. Now the reason being, here it says they rotate clockwise. Actually, they rotate anti-clockwise at the North Pole and clockwise at the South Pole. And in the fifth statement, it says over the Antarctic, the thickness of ozone remains unaffected, which is actually true. The reason being over the Antarctic, the thickness of ozone is actually decreasing and it is nearly 100 Dobson. So moving on to the next question. Ulsur Lake is located in which city of India? A. Bengaluru B. Mumbai C. Delhi D. Chennai So here the correct answer is A. Bengaluru Moving on to the last question Consider the following statement with reference to Indian pangolins First statement The Indian pangolin are the mostly are the most Heavy, heavily trafficked, sites protected mammal. Second statement, they only have a single offspring per year. This high demand is starting to seriously endanger their population. Third statement, the Indian pangolins does not climb trees unlike its African counterpart. Fourth statement, the most noticeable characteristic of the pangolin are the scales which are rigid and are made up of keratin. Which of the following statements are correct? A. All of the above. B. 1 and 4 only. C. 3 only. D. 2 and 3 only. So here the correct answer is A. All of the above. So that's it for today and for more information 
On our various courses, please visit our website www.ashas.com. And for more videos on important questions from Prelim 2020, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.